The earthquake that hit the island nation of Haiti was an act of nature. But the country's wretched state of unpreparedness was very much the result of human acts over the course of centuries. A Haiti primer now from our Anthony Mason. Haiti was already the poorest nation in the Western Hemisphere before the earthquake struck. But it wasn't always that way. Once, the small island country was the economic jewel of the Caribbean. In 1492, on his voyage to America, Christopher Columbus claimed the island for Spain, naming it Hispaniola. But the country's emergence as an economic power would come 200 years later, when Hispaniola was divided. The Spanish retaining control of the eastern side of the island, now the Dominican Republic, while the western side was ceded to France. Officially, the French come into control of what they name Saint-Domingue, which is the, the colony that will eventually become Haiti. Sort of Natasha Lightfoot is a professor of history at New York's Columbia University. They actually are able to turn it into the jewel of their crown. The French, uh, when they take it over, develop both coffee and sugar plantations that enrich them greatly. To operate the plantations over the next century, the French would import hundreds of thousands of slaves from Africa, many of whom were literally worked to death. But in 1789, word of revolution in France made its way to its Caribbean colony. That actually ignites the slaves to revolt. And the French could not put this rebellion down. At all. The slaves outnumbered the colonists 10 to 1. Their rebellion would lead to independence for Haiti. It would also alter the course of a young country called the United States. At the time, the U.S. was looking to buy the French-controlled port of New Orleans. But Napoleon surprised the Americans by offering a much bigger land deal. Land the French emperor no longer wanted after losing his more profitable colony in Haiti. Once that's lost, France says, well, you can have the whole of the Louisiana Territory, not just New Orleans. The Louisiana Purchase would double the size of the United States. So the American Midwest as we know it would not really exist without the Haitian Revolution. Pushing France to give up on its designs for empire in the Western Hemisphere. Haiti became the only nation to gain independence by a slave-led rebellion. Its new flag was derived from the French tricolor, which was turned on its side and the white stripe symbolically stripped off. But before withdrawing in 1825, France had demanded reparations for its loss of economic and human property in the amount of 150 million francs. Which would have corresponded to about, in today's money, about $21 billion. $21 billion, a crushing debt, which, though later reduced, Haiti would not pay off until 1947. As a result, the young country never really got on its feet. In one 55-year period, Haiti would have 22 heads of state. By the time we get to the 20th century, Haiti is a very unstable place, uh, economically and politically. In 1915, U.S. Marines invaded to restore stability and extend our sphere of influence. Haiti would remain under U.S. control for the next 19 years, but nothing could break the cycle of political turmoil. In 1957, Francois Duvalier, a doctor and union leader, was elected president. But Papa Doc's regime became notorious for rampant corruption, torture, and terrorism. These are the men who keep Dr. Francois Duvalier in power. His army, his civil guard, and the thugs known as the Tonton Makut. It's estimated that Tonton Makut were responsible for 30,000 deaths. Did the U.S. support the Duvalier regime? Yes, it did. Um, at that time, the United States was worried about the spread of communism. Papa Doc was succeeded by his son, Baby Doc. 
who spoke to Mike Wallace of 60 Minutes in 1972. The aim of my government is to increase the volume of foreign investment and at the same time to promote the development of tourism. But the Duvalier's repression scared away tourists and drove many of the country's educated professionals into exile. Before the U.S. finally helped oust Baby Doc in 1986. I can only tell you that we... We hope we can be of help as this uh, interim government goes forward to try to institute uh, democracy there in, in Haiti. Haiti has never really recovered. Democracy must be restored. The coup must not endure. Plagued by an epidemic of political coups, and more recently, by nature. Four hurricanes battered the country in 2008. And now this. Two centuries ago, in its darkest hour, Haiti rose up from slavery to become a nation. Somehow, it must rise up again.